Minecraft has a huge variety of mobs. It's got a bunch of different animals like chickens, cows, dolphins, turtles, really, you name it. But one animal it doesn't include is capybaras. Capybaras, I don't know how it's pronounced. Either way, my brothers explained to me that apparently they're quite the meme right now. And I must say, I do like the little guys myself. So today, we're going to be adding capybaras to Minecraft. Adding capybaras to Minecraft. So the software I'm going to be using today is called Blockbench. If you remember way back to October, it was actually featured during the Minecraft Live 2021 event. It's really cool because it's super easy to use, and then you get an actual plugin to use on Minecraft Bedrock Edition when you're done. It's completely free to use, and I think it's a really cool tool, so if you're interested, I'll include the link in the description so that you can download it yourself. Anyways, let's get started. So here I am in Blockbench. Today we're going to be using the Minecraft Entity Wizard. This is like the easiest to pick up. It's the one that they showcased during the Minecraft Live event. Um, it gives you some information you have to fill out right away, like the name, so we're just gonna put Capybara. And then it'll ask you for a mob to base your build off of. So this is like a starting point that you can then sculpt your mob from. Since we're going with the capybara, I kind of want to go with something medium sized, like a goat. Now note that when you pick something like this, it can transfer over the behavior. So right now our capybara would act like a goat, which that seems pretty good to me. He'll charge, he'll jump, overall just be kind of wild and cute, which is kind of what we want from a capybara. However, you can do different behavior, say if we wanted to be able to ride it, we could make it a llama, or if we wanted it to attack stuff, we could make it an iron golem. Um, but for now, I think I'm just gonna stick with the goat behavior for the capybara. Now you get to design what the spawn egg for your mob will look like. So for the capybara, I'm gonna try and find like a brown color, I'm thinking with, I don't know, black, I guess. Oh, that looks really bad, actually. Let's go for just brown on brown, then. And finally, it's gonna ask you how you want to export it. I normally just export to folder, which basically automatically installs it into your game. So now I'm going to get to shaping up what our model is gonna look like. First off, we can delete these horns, because capybaras don't have horns. I'm also gonna remove some of this extra beard material. Now what I'm gonna do, just to make it a little bit easier to look at this thing, is I'm going to quickly paint all of the faces um, like an orangey brown color. Let's just go with that. And I am just going to use the paint bucket for the elements, and we are just going to fill these in. That way it stops looking like a goat. It starts looking like a copy bar pretty soon. So I'm going to start by just adjusting the shape of the body using the size chart over here. So I can shorten this block in the Y dimension and then move it back up. That way it's smaller. I am going to adjust how much the head is rotated. So I'm going to rotate the head back up a bit. Maybe like that. There we go. That's, that's closer, I think. Let's uh, fix the ears a little bit now. I think we want those to be more more vertical rather than horizontal. So I'm gonna get both these like that. So that the capybara has slightly shorter legs, I'm going to move the entire body down a little bit. I think I might space the legs a little bit further apart. Nope, 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 not like that. Now you can see when I change the size of a block, such as his head here, it changes the map over here. Now this is the file that gets exported, kind of the, uh, the net for uh, the capybara. And so I can move this around and it changes which color the pixels are, as you can see. Um, this grid right here indicates the size of one Minecraft block, by the way. So I think we need this dude a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a really big capybara because I, I think they're not that big in real life. So I have ran into a small problem here in that some of the maps are overlapping each other for the different blocks. So I'm gonna see if I can move these around in any way such that they won't be overlapping anymore. <laughs> now what I can do, if I need, I can make this grid bigger. So we might have to do that, but as I'm not totally sure about the shape of this capybara yet, we might still make some adjustments. I'm gonna try just making him smaller overall and we'll see how that goes. So one way I can try and make the size smaller is I can use this inflate here. So if I were to 
do this, as you can see, it inflates his leg quite a bit. But I'm going to try and go negative, make his leg smaller. That made it a bit too small, actually. So we're, <laughs> we're not going to go with that. It looks like he's a, a pirate capybara. Has a little peg leg or something. So we're not actually going to go with that. That was just a, a try. <laughs> So I made the capybara a bit smaller. I still think it looks good though. And as you can see now, none of our maps are overlapping. So we're all good to start texturing. I think I'm pretty pleased with how he looks. Okay, I've actually been looking at this guy for quite a while now <laughs> because I don't know, he looks slightly off and I think I figured out what it is. Look at the size of that butt. I think we need to... I think we need to shorten that up a little bit. Um, I can't believe I didn't. I could not figure out what looked so wrong about this dude, but I think that might help. Let's see. Are we overlapping on the net model at all? Nope. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm feeling good about this guy. Let's get to painting now. Now this map should not have all this extra mess outside of the actual nets. So I'm going to go ahead and erase everything and then we can get to painting. Okay, erasing everything might actually take forever. So what I'm gonna try and do instead is delete this texture file. Hey, okay, nice. Now we've just got our base, our base model. This is what a pro would have been doing from the start, but I am, I'm a noob, so don't don't judge, guys. Um, so now we're going to create a texture. I'm just going to call it Capybara because this is the only texture that we're going to have for now, at least. And there we go. We've got a fresh map that is laid out nice and neat, and all of the sides color coded. That looks excellent. So now, even though it looks super cool, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and make it all that orange color again. <laughs> because we're going to start painting this bad boy. Now, I want the nose to be like a black color, like that, and the ears, I think. Uh, let's switch that to element. I think the ears we want to be kind of a dark color, and maybe the legs as well. Now, I'm just putting out like a very basic color scheme at first, and then we'll go through and put in all of the details. So now I'm gonna grab the paintbrush, and I'm going to start uh, filling these guys in with just a very rough idea of what I think the capybara could look like. So I feel like already this little guy is fairly recognizable as a capybara, and that's the first thing we're going for, is just to get a basic idea of what it'll look like, and then we'll put in all of the extra details. Go grab an actual black color and add in some nostrils, I think. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe our, uh... oh, there we go. I was gonna say, maybe our, our face is a little small for nostrils, cause. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna try something that I've never really done before and that is like shading on here. Let's take a slightly darker brown color and put it down kind of at the bottom. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to take the gradient tool now and drag it out. Okay, so we can get a little bit of movement with this almost. And I think that could be useful in quickly texturing these guys. I'm now going to make the body disappear. Whoa, those are some long legs. <laughs> and uh, let's add a gradient to the head if we can. Kind of like that. And then we can redo the eyes and everything. So now with every bit of our capybara shaded in with the gradient, he is looking a lot more textured and a lot better. I'm just gonna add a few more details in, such as a little tail. I'm also just gonna add a little bit of texture so it looks like hair maybe. And the way that I'm gonna add this hair texture is I'm gonna take one of these darker shades and I'm gonna kind of drag it out a little bit. Now we're not going to have mirror painting on for this because we want to look kind of more random than that. Oh, <laughs> I 
And just like that, I think our little dude is just about finished. I think we have our final capybara right there. So here I am back in Minecraft with my new spawn capybara egg, and this is our first test to see what the capybara looks like. Oh gosh, what the? <laughs> oh my goodness, that did not work, and it is way smaller than I expected too. Is that, wait, oh, is that a baby? No, oh, okay, so those, those are babies. Um... So I think the reason we got some monstrosities here instead of actual capybaras is that um, essentially I was able to save the geometry for the capybara. That's why we've got the overall shape that we want from these guys. Um, but I don't think I actually saved the texture. Well, I saved it, but I didn't export it. So I'm going to go quickly export the texture that I've got on Blockbench. Okay, there we go. That is... That is a lot better. Look at the little dude. Hey, aw. Okay, we we have successfully added copy bars to Minecraft. Let's go. Look at these dudes. That is awesome. So I've quickly put together a little capybara habitat here. Of course, complete with an orange mob that I have added. It doesn't move or anything, um, but I thought that these would just give a little bit of nice uh, ambiance to the capybara habitat. Let's bring them in and let's cue the hopefully copyright free remix that I found.